Delphi, sacred isle of Apollo. The light of truth pierces the mist that clouds the minds of men. Greetings! A talking satyr. Satyr, I am Jason, king of Yolkus. This is Hercules, the son of Zeus. Is that right? We've come to see the Oracle. Well, that way leads to the Oracle. Eventually. We thank you. Hercules? I wish you good fortune in the caves ahead. Why? Is there some reason we would need it? Hold on, I'll take a look. Hercules, wait! What exactly do you need? Hail, King Jason! Lieutenant Platon? What are you doing on Delphi? That's a question I put to you, sir. I speak for the people, your people, who wonder why you've left us. Why you've abandoned your kingdom and your duty. What if there's another attack, and Yolkus is without its warden? How could you do this? That is not for you to say, Platon. Do not forget, Alcime was a citizen of Yolkis too. The gods willing, I will not be long away. Platon, what is this place? I see Jason, we got a trio. Who for years walked with the gods. Jason, there you are. Lost you back there for a moment. Why did you run off? This place is strange. I'm seeing things. Yes. I saw a guard from Yolkus. I saw worse than that. Death. Destruction. I've seen that this voyage will be the last for some of those who join you. I'm with you until the end, Jason. But others who may stand with us, I worry too much will be asked of them. Are you willing to trade a life for Alcimaeus? A friend's life? I don't want reluctant friends by my side. I want men and women who believe in what we're doing. If they feel as I do, then the sacrifices we're called to make will not be an issue. Hercules? Hercules! I see you, Jason, King of the Universe. Alcime. Jason, I'm so cold. I will find a way to bring you back. I'm alone in the dark, lost in a drift. Why have you denied me my final rights? I am so afraid. Alcimic, what did I promise you at our wedding? To be my husband. To share the rule of your kingdom. It is as I thought. You are not Alcime. You're another trick of the cave. The real Alcime knows that what was promised is the reason I am here. Be gone, treacherous spirit. You may have stolen her image, but your words betray you. Cave of Doubts. The most difficult questions to answer are those left unasked. You cannot confront ignorance 
unless you first confront the truth. You made it! Hercules, is it really you? After I ran in, I started seeing things. That's about when I realized rushing ahead wasn't the brightest idea. I turned back to find you, but there was only the cave and its tricks. Tricks won't stop us now. Come. Overcome the cave of doubts. Well done. You again. Many who come here seeking answers don't have the resolve to ask the questions. Who are you, Seder? You may call me Pan. I am a friend of the Oracle. She is waiting for you ahead, just a little further. Is Delphi your home, Pan? Now and again. Live as long as I, and you accumulate many homes. This place serves when I'm feeling weary with the world. Someone always comes along who reignites the passion to journey out again. But now you should continue. The Oracle is expecting you. Question. I'm the Oracle. How did you know what we were going to? Foolish question. Oracle of Apollo. I am... Jason. In fact, you are many Jasons. Each instant countless Jasons die, and countless are born anew. Does this Jason know what he seeks? My wife, Alcime. Restored to me alive again. Restored to you? You think your thread entwined with hers forever? Threads unravel. Threads entangle. Threads are cut. You have not said what I seek is impossible. And by that, I infer there is a way. How? The Golden Fleece. The Fleece? An artifact of untold power. Only the Fleece can undo death. But the Fleece has been lost for centuries. Do you know where it is? How can I find it? Search under every stone upon the earth. You will not find it. Then how? You will need a guide. Three guides. Each a vessel of divine blood. Do you mean to say these guides? Are the descendants of the gods. The blood of three holds the key. Athena, Hermes, Ares. Seek out their bloodlines. Bring one descendant from each of these gods here to Delphi. Then the way to the fleece will be made known to you. But will that be an answer? Or just another question? Wait! Who are these descendants? Where do I find them? Come now, aren't you being a little hard on them? Even if they knew where to look, the task ahead is nigh impossible. She 
she's coming around to it. Give her a moment. How can you tell? Three islands you must visit. Mycenae, proud land of Ares, where a city hungers to see vengeance in its fierce arena. Saria, wild domain of Hermes, where both predators and mysteries lurk deep within the jungle. Kithra, lost island of Athena, where the echoes of a distant past haunt both swamp and temple. Mycenae, Saria, Kithra. There your destiny will be forged. Can you tell me more of these places? Revealing too much may alter the course of events. So may revealing too little. Choose one of your destinations, and we will grant you one last gift of insight. Tell me more of Mycenae. The man with the hammer will help you. You may trust him. But do not trust the man who watches. In the last moment, an ally will appear. I suppose this means you will be leaving us, Pan. I believe Jason's quest will be an epic tale filled with great deeds and worthy heroes. Perhaps I too may have a part to play. You're coming with us? If you'll have me. Pan will speak for us on your journey. He will prove useful to you. I do not doubt that. Welcome aboard the Argo, Pan. The Argo? Jason and the Argonauts. There's a fine title for a tale. It's time we leave. To the ship! I know of Mycenae. It is a land of Ares, and the homeland of my wife. King Lycomedes is the one I seek there. He is of Ares' blood. Lycomedes is not the understanding type. What of Saria and Kithra? Do you know them, Pat? Saria is a wild jungle land, isolated and far removed. I know only that there are satyrs there. As for Kithra, I have been there before, long ago. I hear it's a cursed island. Well, it wasn't always so. In fact, it was once home to the Golden Fleece. But now, it said no living thing calls Kithra home. We'll find out for ourselves the truth of all these places. Come. The Argo awaits. Last. The route to Mycenae is well known to me. It is a major port, after all. Saria is just a small dot on the map, isolated and out of the way. Kithra appears only on the oldest charts. No one sails there anymore. They say it's haunted. Have you decided on our destination, Jason? Chart a course for Mycenae. We'll speak with the bloodline of Ares first. King Lycomedes. As you say, Our plan is over. Neutralize our time, and Jason's quest will be at an end. Go. Make sure our arrangements are in order. And kill the traitor once he's served. King Jason! Sinon! What are you doing here? Quiet! Find some place to hide. They blame you for what happened to Princess Alcime. They say King Lycomedes is going to kill you. 
I'm here to tell the truth about what happened. Don't worry, son. Now, just what are you doing here? I came to fight in the arena. To prove myself. To show you. Show everyone. I can be a guardsman. I want soldiers in my guard, not gladiators. There's a difference. Have you actually seen what goes on in there? Yes. Well, no. I've heard the cheers from outside the walls. It's all very exciting. Promise me you'll watch a match before you decide. Ah, scout my competition. Very cunning. As you say, King Jason. Good. Until then, there's always a hot meal waiting for you on my ship. Keep the pier clear, unless you're loading cargo. Are there no men here? So much for the warm welcome. Glory. I'll give it King to you Lycomedes free. awaits you at his palace. Midas himself He's not known for his Achilles. patience. Out of our way! Ionians. What? No one wants to fight? Heard the men of Mycenae were warriors. Apparently not. Mark Ionia on your roster, slave. Hey, look! Well, 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 the Yogan King. What's it to you, mercenary? Not here to sign up for the arena? No, of course not. That would require courage. We hear you have a problem protecting your women, little king. You should send them to Ionia. We'll keep them safe for you. And busy. <laughs> Where's your laughter now? You can! What do you wait for? Need coin to fight? Come, I've enough to pay you. Enough! Ionians, test our laws at your peril. And as for you, the king expects you at his palace without delay. No one lays a finger on this one until King Lycomedes is through with him. No one. He's more likely found in the market than here at the shrine. hungry?
Some blame you for the loss of Princess Alcime, but not I. I know what it is to lose your beloved. I'm sorry to see one widowed so young. Oh, I'm no widow. Not yet. Forgive me, my name is Zosime. My husband Pythias fights to pay our debts in the arena. My husband shouldn't have gotten so far behind. And what should he have done? His trade is taxed so heavy he can't turn a profit. And now he'll fight to line the pockets of Patroclus. His sport! Our lives. Pythias has to win. He just has to. State your business here. I am Jason, King of Yolkus, and I will speak with King Lycomedes in his palace. Raise the gate! Beyond this gate lie the royal grounds of Mycenae. The palace, arena, agora, and Ares watch. The king is expecting you. You would do well not to tarry, sir. The liberation of Samos. King Lycomedes and the Mycenaean army free Samos from the rule of the Black Tongues. Freedom is neither right nor privilege. It is a spoil of war, King Lycomedes. Lycomedes is a hard man, from a nation of hard men. If he hates the Black Tongue so much, he should be glad to help us. Pity on a poor crier, sir. Go to my ship at the docks. My crew will feed you. Bless you. How cruel that one so kind will find such a fate on Mycenae. What do you mean, old man? Can't you hear it? The fates speak to those who listen. Do they? And what do they say? Listen for yourself. Achilles practices in the arena as we speak. Perhaps he can tell you. The arena, the very heart of Mycenae. Only gladiators and arena workers enter through here. The stands are up the stairs, behind you. Achilles! Damn it, Patroclus! Do you purposefully seek out every cripple and sluggard in Mycenae to train with me? Achilles, please! Every time you practice, I'm out another ten fighters. There are none left who want to face you! The next fighter you send me will be the first. I'll be in my chambers. Send the women.
our dark days filled with sadness. What times are these when our daughters are if preyed upon? If speeches be art, then here we find a gallery. Flower of her people, slain on her own wedding day, you may finish. What have we done to anger the gods? Why does Ares, our protector, Alcime and Elias of Mycenae, princess of the burning torch, courage eternal, devotion steadfast, grace forever, beauty undying. Darkness sees no reflection in the mirror of the flame. Princess Alcime. When the people of Mycenae learn what kind of man you are, they will love you as I do. Time to see which way the wind blows with Lycomedes. I did not believe it when my advisors told me your ship approached the harbor. You're a great many things, son of Trion. But I did not think you so brazen. King Lycomedes, I am sorry for the loss of Alcime. Don't you say her name. She was not your wife. Not yet. Despite this tragedy, I thank Ares for two things. The first is that your father, a true king and a friend, was not alive to see your dishonor. And the second is that by a matter of moments, I was spared the shame of calling you my son. Think of me what you will, but know that I aim to undo what has been done. I seek the Golden Fleece. There would be riots in the streets of Mycenae if I aided you on such a fool's quest. Don't you see, Jason? My people want blood. Blood for blood. I won't leave Mycenae without your help. What will it take to get it? Enough of this! Out of respect for your father, I give you a choice. Either return to your ship in disgrace and sail away, never to set foot here again. Or submit yourself to trial by combat in the arena, before all of Mycenae and Ares himself. Jason, you're not bound by the laws of Mycenae. Prove you're not to blame for the death of my daughter. If you have any honor left, it is the only way. I submit to your trial, but after I'm proven innocent, who then is to blame, King of Mycenae? Look around your own kingdom. You're mistaken if you think the Black Tongues were destroyed. It falls to me to finish what you started. Escort the accused to the arena. Remove his weapons and armor. He may keep his shield. Let him enjoy no further advantage of his station. Jason! King of Yolkus himself. Patroclus must be giddy thinking about the crowds he's going to get. Your trial starts soon. Speak to the Minoan to get your weapon, and he'll let Patroclus know you're ready. The Minoan? He's up the ramp. Can't miss him. Look at him. He's scared. I can smell the fear on him. Greetings, Jason of Yolkus. I'm Asclepius, the arena physician. I treat those wounded in the fights. Well met here. May Apollo bless you for the work you do. As with all who pass through here, I hope that we don't meet again. Fits well enough, I see. You'll find it's more than adequate for your needs. 
Patrick just wanted to give you some worthless leather scraps. But he can go to Tartarus for all I care. I thank you, but I don't even know your name. Daedalus of Crete. Inventor, smith, engineer, genius. Take your pick. Why do you help me? I'm not the most popular man on my side. Why? Why does the finch fly? Or the dolphin swim? I was made by the gods to construct wonders. If I see something that can be made better, then I make it better. Now if the help I give ends up riling Patroclus, I count that happy fortune. This armor is finely made. How do you do it? I could not teach a monkey to chart the stars, nor could I hope to explain to you my craft. Who has my weapons? They're being kept safe. During your trial, you'll be forced to use whatever Patroclus deems fit. When you're ready to start, I'll see that you're given what you need. Who's this Patroclus you mentioned? He runs the arena. A shrewd man, with an eye for talent. Though he doesn't always appreciate it. He has most of the top fighters under contract, including Achilles. What should I expect from this trial by combat? Three fights, if you last that long. None of them fair. You'll likely be outnumbered, the crowd against you. And you can bet Patroclus will have a surprise or two. Before each match, you come and see me, and then I tell Patroclus we're ready to start. I'm ready to begin, Nadus. Your first match has been announced. Looks like you're to be paired with an indebted merchant named Pythias. I'd go speak with Pythias in the cells below. That man will need your guidance. Figure out your plan with him, then come see me, and we'll get this show started. I don't plan on dying anywhere near this place. Then pray you never face the Kalos, the Handtaker. Never heard of you. You must be new here. I'm the best there is around these parts, eunuch. I thought Achilles was the champion of Mycenae. Achilles? I'll have his soft woman's hand soon enough. Then I'll be champion! Me, Vancalos, the... Hand. I heard you before. I dislike you, eunuch. Perhaps I'll ask Patroclus to set you and me up. You'd make for a handsome prize. Have to ask permission to fight? My hand is right here. You just wait, eunuch! I'll have my trophy before you leave! You're King Jason? I am. And you're Pythias, my partner. So I hear. Probably not quite the partner you hoped for. Have you fought in the arena before? No. My crime is not as serious as yours. Not that I think you're guilty or anything. I'm just a poor merchant. I survive a single match and my slate's cleared. You, on the other hand, are blamed for the death of Princess Alcime. You'll face three fights before your trial's done. It seems the fates have placed us together. Tell me true. Can you fight? I'm good at two things. 
bartering and playing the liar. I know which end of a sword is sharp, but that's about it. I place my trust in you. Tell me what you want me to do and I'll do it. Listen then. Stay near me and protect my flank. I'll take care of the rest. I can do that. I'll make certain no one attacks you from behind. Oh, it, it's almost time, isn't it? Please, I, I, I need a few moments to prepare. Patroclus is going to do all he can to make this difficult for you. Like saddling you with a merchant for a partner. It'd be nice to see someone spoil that bastard's day. I'm sure Pythias would agree. <laughs> Who are we up against? Mercenaries. Ionians, no less. Always a crowd favorite. There's a whole squad of them, Jason. Fair fights aren't in Patroclus's nature. Apparently. Some of the Ionians have it out for you. What are those wings you keep on the wall there? Never you mind about those. You've got more important things to worry about. Am I to fight with my bare hands? You'll get a mace before the map starts. Crude, simple, and slow. Too slow to keep up with your opponents. But that's what Patroclus hopes. Is everything ready? All that's missing is you. The stage is set, Jason. Shall we begin? Go tell your surgeon I'm about to make him very busy. Trained mercenaries? I'm not cut out for this! I wanted to be a musician, not a merchant. Zosimir and I were about to move to Massalia. King Jason, tell my wife not to mourn. To start over. Be happy. Have faith. You'll be with Zosime by day's end, and in Massalia within a week. I pray you're right, Jason. Remember what you're supposed to do. Protect my flank. Watch my back and I'll watch yours. Attention, citizens of Mycenae! Our next match is about to begin! From the land of Ionia, I give you hardened mercenaries, men whose sole purpose is to kill for coin. Against them, I call your attention to Pythias, a merchant without a coin to his name. But he does not fight alone, oh no. He is paired with another who has a debt to pay. In fact, this one owes a debt to each and every one of you! I give you... King Jason! May we all witness justice on this day! By the will of Ares, begin!
match is over! Some men have fallen. Some have not. Citizens! Citizens! Trust in the gods and their will. Your thirst for justice must wait a little longer. But it will be satisfied! The Yolkin fights again soon enough! As for the merchant Pythias, his debts are clear! By the gods, I live! Jason, I owe you my life! You have new life. Go and give it to your wife. For her sake, don't make the same mistakes. Wise counsel, Jason. I'll never forget it. I know you'll triumph here. And when you do, come find me in the market before you go. I'll write you a song. You'll meet my Zosime. I'm saved. I can hardly believe my own words. I'm saved! I'm glad Pythia survived. Certainly spoiled Patroclus's day. You fought well, Jason. There might be hope for you yet. Sounds like I've got my work cut out for me. Might as well get started. I'll inform Patroclus. Attention, citizens of Mycenae! Our next match is about to begin! As you know, this arena is a place of judgment for criminals such as the men who stand before us. <laughs> you all know the vicious young gladiator, Vancalos, the hand taker. And then there is Jason of Iolcus, whose abject failure to protect our princess casts his very honor in doubt. The last man standing lives to fight another day. Let the criminals fight each other and let Ares sort them out. By the will of Ares, begin! is not complete. Not yet. We have one more match for Jason. Do we not? Tell your friends. Tell your enemies. A fight for the ages lies ahead. A fight 
of Champions! Jason, attend closely. Note the metal of this spear. When creating it through controlled introduction of impurities, I derived a flux, whereby the metal... It looks like a fine weapon. <sighs> Why do I bother? Yes, it's shiny and hard. It can also stop a charging chimera. Just try to find another spear that can do that. I made it specifically with Achilles in mind. Achilles? Is that who I fight next? Yes. And Patroclus says that both of you are to fight with a spear. Achilles has never been beaten, Jason. Never even come close to losing. Some say he's not fated to die on Mycenae. You've often seen him fight. What strategy do you suggest? Achilles' tactics are meant to distract his opponent and entertain the crowd. Don't be lured into letting your defense down. If he has any weakness, it's his vanity. Take advantage when he plays to the audience. Is everything set then? The crowd's lined ten deep outside trying to get in. This is the biggest match Mycenae's seen in years. Tell me when, Jason. Time to see if this Achilles is as good as everyone says he is. Then I'll inform Patroclus. May the gods be with you, Jason. Here before us is King Jason. How far he has come! The taint of shame and dishonor! He has enlarged our shame in this arena! Not completely. No, a foul corruption still lingers in the air. It is a rot down to the core, which only the fiercest fire can purge. People of Mycenae, do we have the white hot flame to do the job? So here, now, beneath the gaze of Ares, I give to you, your champion! Undefeated, unrivaled, untouchable! I give to you, Achilles! 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 Begin! I bet you have all the fun, Jason. Now let me show you how a champion fights, which is bigger. Your mouth or your ego? You should thank me. I'm about to reunite you with your wife.
a bit of show before really? I take men's Please. lives. But the Either show's show. over now. Will be. Soon enough, I am not fated I'll to die on Mycenae. Here me. I am. Come, come. Come, come. Really, please. Give it your own. I'll make it easy for you. Here I am. Really, please, give it your all. You died with the crows tonight. Myself! Your Elsa used to watch me fight. I would feel her lust across the arena! The servant woman said you were a quick finisher! I am not fated to die here! You cannot win! Death and defeat are not the same. Enough! I will not have the blood of either of these proud lions on my hands. I declare this contest a draw. If it is to continue, it will not be this day. King Jason of Yolkos is found innocent! Let no one question his honor. Okay. Uh, Otra! The king has spoken! Merciful Lycomedes has spared King Jason of certain death. It was only a matter of time until your champion, Achilles! Citizens, please! Show Achilles your affection! The man of Mycenae, still undefeated! Still undefeated! Amazing! I've never seen such a battle in all my years. Those were mighty wounds you both inflicted. Jason, that was some show. I think you might have a future as an arena champion. That's not any future I hope for, my friend. So, was he as good as they say? He may be arrogant, but he wields that spear with uncanny precision. I've never seen anything like it. If you two don't mind, I'd like to tend to my patient. You want patience for your patient. But King Lycomedes is impatient. He waits to speak with Jason in the gardens outside his palace. I'm almost finished. One moment, please. Thank you, Asclepius, truly. But I must go to Lycomedes. <sighs> Very well. But do not exert yourself too soon, or you'll tear that wound open again.
Go back to your cell if you want to rest. Only the champion gets a private room. By Hephaestus, that was a fight. Patroclus' head nearly burst in frustration. I'm glad you were entertained, Daedalus. I'm glad you're still alive. Your trial's finished, my friend. You're free to go. So, will you tell me the tale behind those wings now? Very well. But it's not a happy story. What hangs there on the wall is one of two sets of wings I constructed back on Crete. For many years I served King Minos there, and many wonders I built for him. Jealous to keep my craft to himself, he kept me and my son, Icarus, imprisoned in a tower. I built two pairs of wings, one for me, one for Icarus. So together we might make our escape. Both were perfectly made. But only one survived the journey. You see it hanging on the wall. The other pair lies at the bottom of the sea. My son alongside it. I'm sorry, Davis. I didn't wish to bring up painful memories. No apology needed. Truth be told, I'm glad to have at last shared that story with someone. But now's not the time for sorrow. You're a free man again, Jason. Free to continue my quest, at least. I must go to Lycomedes. By all means, the exit's over there, near the guard. Take that passage to the end. wrong to have doubted you, Jason. I see now. I alone am to blame. I need your help, Lycomedes. Join with me. Together we can bring Alcimae back. Alcimae is gone, and I have failed. My Sene, Ares, my daughter. I should have told you of the prophecy. What's done is done. What matters now is what we do next. Because of my pride, the line of Ares will die. There is still hope. Join me. We'll find the fleece. No. Jason. Alcime is gone. I must think of Mycenae now. This land deserves a ruler worthy of her. I have decided to relinquish my crown and choose a successor. Like Amides, it doesn't have to be that way. Soon, I'll be called to make my account in the next world. Before the chariot rider himself, my final act as king will be to find someone worthy in his eyes to take my place. You fought battles, outnumbered ten to one, and still you kept the field. But now, when Ares and Alcime need you most, you talk of giving up. My mind is set. Patroclus 
has already been informed. Let the most worthy warrior claim the fist of Ares. I thought Achilles was that man. But after your trial, I'm not so certain. Nothing is certain anymore. So let there be a tournament. The last of Lycomedes. And let the greatest warrior lead my snake once more. After this tournament, then will you come with me? Mycenae will have a warrior king again, and I will retire to mourn my daughter for what time is left me. Go back to your cast, Jason. Find another bride. Raise a family. See to your people. May you serve them. Better than I have mine. Like Amides. Leave me now. King Jason, I am Senator Anaxagoras. We must speak of Lycomedes. The king is not himself. Your king finds himself in a dark place and sees no way out. He plans to give up his throne and use a tournament to name his successor. Already some in the Senate speak of removing the king. Tournament or not, a struggle for power could turn violent. It's worse than you think. Lycomedes has decreed the tournament open to foreigners. Our people might accept a Mycenaean victor, but if a foreigner claimed the Fist of Ares, there would be war. Seems unlikely. Surely Achilles would take the prize. Achilles has yet to enter. What? He won't fight. Why? I know not, but something rustles in this city. You told Lycomedes you saw a black tongue in Mycenae. Yes, in the marketplace. I'm sure of it. I too have heard whispers, rumors. If we can prove the black tongues have returned, perhaps Lycomedes will find himself again. Do you have support in the Senate? The Senate sees only an opportunity to expand its power. That's why I need your help, King Jason. I'd start with Captain Akikios. He leads the Mycenaean Guard. You'll find him at Ares' Watch at the east of the city. You may tell him I've authorized you to look into this matter. If there are black tongues in Mycenae, we'll find them, Senator. Yes, what is it? Captain Akikios, I am King Jason of Yolkus. Senator Anaxagoras says you can assist me. Have you had any reports of suspicious men in the city? Well, there's you, and that ship full of Ionians. But we're keeping an eye on them. What about black tongues? I saw one in your market. Black tongues? In Mycenae? With all due respect, sir, this is the most secure port in Greece. Every ship is inspected personally by a member of my guard. 
Any black tongue fool enough to come, we'd find him before he left the harbor. I'd like to see your doc reports. Not going to happen. Those reports contain sensitive and private trade information. If you had authorization from the entire Senate and the King, maybe I'd consider it. Otherwise, forget it. So you'll do nothing. It's one thing to be confident, it's another to ignore a threat. I'll not have you question my command, sir. Between Lycomedes tournament, unrest in the Senate, and your recent trial, the people are on edge. Now's the time when violence can spread like wildfire. I need my men where they are. Now if you'll excuse me, your highness. Pardon, sir. I'm Alexius, Guardsman of the Watch. I overheard your conversation with the Captain. I too saw something strange in the market. Can't say if it was a black tongue, but one moment he was there, and the next he wasn't. Did he have strange tattoos? Yes, sir. All up his arm. Clean scalp. Strange dress. The moment he saw me, he turned down an alley. When I caught up, he was gone. Keep alert, Alexius. Let me know if you see anything else. I will, sir. But if I may, some advice. Seek the Stork. The Stork? Who's that? Criminal type. Smuggling, gambling, money lending, spying. He's got his fingers in many pies. I shouldn't say this, but he knows more of what goes on here than any senator. If you want to know about crime, it's best to ask a criminal. Where do we find the stork? There's the rub. We don't know who he is. We've tried to find him, but when it comes to the stork, people get forgetful. He's somewhere near the market, I'm sure of it. Perhaps you can track him down, being an outsider and all. Jason, thank you, thank you. A thousand times, thank you. Pythias told me how you saved him. Our deaths are erased, and we're leaving this place forever. We make for far off Massalia to the west. With your help, we have new life. Now, if only Hera would bless us with a child, all our prayers would be answered. May Hera bless you with the gift you seek. Farewell to you both. Greetings. I am Lysias, adjudicator of the Merchants Guild of Mycenae. May I be of service? Do you know a man called the Stork? I hear he conducts his affairs in the marketplace. No, and I don't care to. The guard will catch up to him sooner or later. Smuggling, failure to pay tax, usury. He'll have much to answer for. Then have you seen anything unusual in the market lately? Unusual? Can't say I have. Just the normal trade disputes. I see. Thank you. Never mind. Welcome, sir. Looking for anything in particular? Information. Do you know where I can find the stork? Why don't you leave my son alone? Excuse me? You are one of Origen's new friends, no? It's because of scoundrels like you he's in this trouble with the stork. Perhaps I could speak to the stork on your son's behalf. Happen to know where he is? Who? Origen? He went to Hermes Shrine to make a devotion. Praise the messenger, it better work too. It's the last of our coin. I meant the stork. The stork? How would I know? My business may be struggling, but at least it's honest. My boy's the one who got mixed up with that rogue. 
But he's through with all that now. Absolutely, completely through. He went to Hermes' shrine, a changed man. Oh, you should have seen his face this morning when I gave him the money. So devout and honest. I hope the devotion will turn your fortune. Good day, Hippia. That's right, boys. Origin's coin is good, and I'm taking all comers. Origen, son of Hippia. Who's asking? My name's Jason. I've spoken to your mother. Good for you. I've spoken to her, too. Now, you here to play or chat about my relatives? Origen, the stork wants to see you. I bet he does. I owe him more than I can remember. I'll go see him once I win it back. I don't believe you. Where will you meet him? Why, at his... Wait a moment. No, 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 no. I'm not as dumb as that, am I? Good sir, you'll be very discreet. Your name won't come up? Uh, here's some news for you. You're a speaking satyr. You don't think people haven't already noticed us talking? You will tell me what I want to know. The only question is how much persuasion it's going to take to get you to talk. All right, all right. Tell you what. We'll play for it. A game of wits. If you win, I'll tell you what you want to know. And if I lose? Then I won't. Oh, and you'll go back to dear old mom and tell her you saw me making a devotion here. game of wits, you say? Right. A simple game to test one's cleverness. Here's how it'll work. I pick the game, and you choose who plays first. That way, it's fair. Call the game, Origin. The game's a simple one, as old as the hills. It's called Eleven. We'll each take turns playing a number between one and four. Each time a number's played, it's added to the total. Whoever hits exactly 11 wins. If you play to a number over 11, you lose. Simple, isn't it? So tell me, do you want to play first or second? I'll go first. Then here we go. Play your number and let's see whose wit is sharper. I play two. And so the total is two. I play four. That brings the total to six. Your turn. I play four. And so the total is ten. Which means I, of course, play one. Bringing the total to eleven. It seems I win. Don't be too hard on yourself. There's few men in Greece can match the wits of origin. Slight exaggeration, of course. I can't wait to hear you tell my mom how I've been such a good boy. I need his location, origin. We just went over that. We played, you lost. That was the deal.
New Deal. You tell me what I want to know. I let you keep your teeth. Talk about a sore loser. Your answer. You're a terrible gambler, you know that? Oh, all right. The stork operates out of the slums. He's got a little rag stand set up there. He's an Egyptian, calls himself Khufu. But be discreet. If you even hint that I told you, I'm as good as dead. We'll say nothing. You did the right thing. I've made worse wages before, I think. Now leave me be, would you? Well met, Bolo. I'm Jason. Mind if I picked your pocket? Yes, Bolo, I would. You shouldn't be doing that. Where are this boy's parents? Please. The stork says we'll all go hungry if I don't. You know the stork? Oh, yes. He's my new father. He has many sons, but I'm the newest. Bolo, can you tell me where to find the stork? Oh, no. I can't do that. He'll beat me something fierce if I do that. I'll protect you, Bolo. I won't let him hurt you. Mm. No, I couldn't. Tell no one who I am. It's his number one rule. Does the stork tell you to pick pockets? All the boys do it. The stork says it gets easier with time. I hope so. Bolo, the stork is taking advantage of you. No, no. He got me out of the orphanage. I was beaten there, locked up without supper. With the stork, the beatings are much lighter. I'm seldom locked up, and sometimes there's a little supper. He's really very kind. Each month, he gives a fig to the boy who brings in the most coin. Isn't he a wonderful father? If you stay with him, you'll end up in prison or dead. But he's the only family I have. Sorry, Jason. I really shouldn't talk anymore. I'm supposed to be on the lookout for marks. There must be someone else who knows this talk. Someone who won't be in danger if you tell us. I agree. We'll find the stork on our own. Welcome, good sir. The Khufu offers finest rags and tallow in all Greece. I have no interest in either. But what does the stork have to say? So, you've learned my little secret. Was it Origin who told you? He's not to blame. Origin is in no danger. I forgive his debts. I'm actually pleased he sent you here. I think we can help each other. But first, what can the stork do for you? There are black tongues on my side. Have you heard anything? Rumors. Whispers in the streets. Where do you get your information from? Khufu cares for many boys. You'd be surprised how easily a child can slip by unnoticed where important people talk. Other rumors, too. Honorable Patroclus speaks with Ionians in private. I wonder what about. Those mercenaries fight in the arena. What's so strange about that? I hear Patroclus offered a contract to an Ionian champion named Doka. The champions of Ionia are guarded jealously by their war chiefs. They do not leave their homeland. Stranger still, only one man has entered the tournament. Who do you think it is? The Ionian champion. Correct. Dokan is unopposed. Not even Achilles has agreed to fight. Madness! What is he thinking? May I suggest you put that question to Patroclus? Now, 
You have been given something of value, yes? I would expect something of value in return. I don't deal with criminals, Khufu. Don't be hasty. What I want and what you want are the same. I could care less if the Ionian wins or loses. Business goes on. But if there's only one fighter, we don't have a tournament. No tournament, no gambling. No gambling, no business for Khufu. You could convince Achilles to enter the tournament. He respects you. Why? So you can turn a profit from your gambling business? Think on this. If Achilles wins, Mycenae would proudly accept the rule of a native son. If Dokkan wins, there will be civil war. There is some truth in what he says, Jason. Very well. We'll go speak to Patroclus. Something doesn't add up here. Humble gratitude. Khufu keep little spies work hard. If Khufu learn more, little spy come to you. A peerless display, as usual, Achilles. Yes, yes. Send the girl. Ah, King Jason. Congratulations on a most entertaining trial. I must admit, I was surprised at how it ended. But my prophet soon eased the sting of that shock. I hear Achilles hasn't entered Lycomedes' tournament. Are you not concerned? I'm not a slaver. If the man doesn't want to fight, I can't force him. Achilles is a great warrior, perhaps the best, but can you really see him as a king? I also hear you have a new fighter under contract. An Ionian fighter. I'm always in the market for exotic talent. Have you seen him? No. An amazing specimen. And what if he wins the tournament? Have you no fear of the reaction of the people? Mycenae is first and foremost the land of Ares. The strongest should rule, foreigner or not. The people will understand. You've got the chance to hold the biggest tournament in the history of Mycenae and you're letting it pass? You're up to something, Patroclus. I know it. My good king, you just completed a trial by combat. Do you really wish to suffer through another by slandering my good name? Now I bid you good day. An odious character. Let's go back below and speak to Achilles. I want to hear for myself why he won't fight. Cells, workshop, and champion's quarters lie inside. Do you seek passage? I do. Raise the gate! Achilles! Achilles, it's Jason. 
Oh, where are you going, Achilles? Come back. What is it? I am preoccupied at the moment. Why are you not fighting in the tournament? Achilles, tell the wine bearer to leave it at the door. <laughs> We're waiting. Then fill your cups and wait some more. What business is it of yours if I fight or not? Who rules this kingdom is the business of everyone on Mycenae. Huh. <laughs> what need have I of a crown? What need have I of the fist of Ares? Let the Ionians sit on a throne and bandy words with merchants and farmers. That sounds like Tartarus to me. Do you really think wine and women will keep you satisfied forever? You throw your life away in this room. Remember who you speak to. I am Achilles. Listen to the people. When I stride upon the arena floor, You'd think Ares himself had appeared before them! Don't you see, Jason? I'll be remembered as the greatest fighter the world has ever seen. The greatest? You're nothing, Achilles. You sit here growing soft, sparring with the desperate and the criminal. It takes courage to aspire to greatness. Only a coward sits content with an easy life. Save your breath. You want to stop the Ionian from winning? Fight him yourself. Then you can have two kingdoms to muck up. Achilles, we're bored. Come back to us. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to receive my therapy. Achilles! What is he thinking? <sighs> what now, Jason? We must keep searching. We have to find those black tongues. We could see if Senator Anaxagoras has turned up anything new. Or the guardsman Alexius at Ares Watch. He seemed willing to help. And there's always Khufu. Perhaps his spies have found something. We won't find them standing here. Come. Jason, good to see you again. Daedalus, there's an agent of King Minos on Mycenae. He asked me to bring him a feather from your wings. Good old Damon, as predictable as the stars. It appears my time on this island has come to an end. You know him? He's been chasing my trail ever since I fled Crete. What if I told him you weren't here? He might not believe you. He'd likely try to verify it from a second source. Unless you brought him the proof he seeks. You want me to give him a feather? A feather would earn you his trust. And then you could tell him any story you like. Say, for example, that I left in a hurry just this morning, headed for Alexandria. I don't want to pressure you, Jason. The wings are there. Take a feather if you want. Davis, I've heard Patroclus has an arrangement with an Ionian champion called Dokkan. You too, eh? I know this much. That Ionian was here earlier to speak with him. He's a beast of a man. I used to scoff when people said the champions of Ionia were a match for any champion in Greece. Now, I'm not so sure. I must go now, Daedalus. I'll speak to you again later. I'll keep my eyes open around here. grounds lie beyond this gate. Do you seek passage? I do. Open the gate! 
The king has given you free reign on Mycenae. You may pass. Jason, I've got news from the stork! What is it, Bolo? A couple of the other boys found out the Ionians registered some cargo at the docks. Ionians fight for coin. They do not trade for it. Curious indeed. There's more! Stork said, be sure to tell him who signed for the cargo. Who then? None other than Captain Akikios himself. Stork says captains don't usually do guardsmen's work. I think we need to pay Captain Akikios another visit. Oh, I gotta go. I'm not back in ten minutes. It's a beating for sure. Ufu has no right to beat you. Next time he tries, leave. Easy for you to say. You've got a great big ship to take you anywhere you want to go. But if I leave Khufu, what then? I suppose I could take that job as a barnacle scraper. I don't know what that is exactly, but sounds fun. What you need is a family, Bolo. There's a couple of very nice people I think you should meet. People? Uh, I don't know. Khufu says not to talk to people. Their names are Pythias and Zosime. You can find them just north of the market. I, I don't know. They love music, Bolo. Pythias plays the lyre. They'd love to hear a song. The market is on my way back. I'll stop by. Better get going. What a fine ending to a tale this would be. I think they'll make a fine family. Come, let's go. There are black tongues on Mycenae. You must uncover their purpose. Senator, what about the doctor reports? Could we inspect them? Perhaps they could yield some clue as to how the black tongues arrived. I couldn't show you those without full authorization from the Senate, and that's unlikely to happen. Not that it would help. I've already examined them. There's no indication of suspicious passengers. There's the Ionians, of course, but they've been under close surveillance since they arrived. The Black Tongues didn't swim here. They had to have come by ship. My suspicion is they snuck ashore among some cargo. It could be the crew of the ship that brought them here wasn't even aware they were on board. I'll have my aides peruse the reports again, but I doubt we'll find any certain evidence. Thank you, sir. We'll keep searching. King Jason, how goes your investigation? It gets more interesting by the minute. Is your captain up ahead? Is he ever? He just relieved me. Said he was meeting someone, so I might as well call it a day. Ten years in the guard, first time I've been sent home early. Not that I'm complaining. Who's he meeting with? Didn't say. He was alone when I left him. Ares, watch over you, King Jason. What of my reward? I was promised a place in the new order. Reward is knowing you have served not enough. Then let me send you to paradise. <laughs> Black tongues! Don't let them get away! Give me, King Jason.
Jason. You must warn Lycomedes. What have you done? Black tongues. They came ashore with the Ionians. Paid me to keep it quiet. Why are they here, Akikios? Why? To kill Lycomedes. During the tournament. Listen to me. There are others in the guard working for them. Trust no one. Ares, forgive me. He's gone. King Jason. Guard Alexius. Your captain was working for the Black Tongues, and they killed him. We need your help here. Take care of his body. We must keep this quiet for now. If Akikios was corrupt, there's no telling who we can trust. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Disturbing news. We've established the Black Tongues are here, presumably in force, and their target is none other than Lycomedes. Akikio said they planned to strike during the tournament. Makes sense. With Lycomedes in seclusion, it may be the last time anyone's sure to see him in public. An attack from the stands is possible, I suppose. There's another way they could do it. What's that? Lycomedes will personally hand the Fist of Ares to the winner of his tournament. How much do we really know about this Sionian champion, Doka? If he wins, he'd have the perfect opportunity to strike. We can't let that happen. We can tell the guard, the Senate, Lycomedes himself. He has to call off the tournament. You heard Akikios. The guard is compromised. And for all we know, so is the Senate. Lycomedes is in seclusion. I doubt he'll see us. No. It falls to us to stop this. What's the plan? It would seem my time as a gladiator is not yet finished. Looks like there'll be a tournament after all. I'll take care of Dokkan. One way or another, he won't threaten Lycomedes. That leaves the stands to the both of you. Between us all, Lycomedes must not fall. Everything depends on that. The first order of business is to get Jason signed up for the tournament. There's the recruiter at the docks. Or we could go straight to Patroclus in the arena. We'll send word that I'm entering the tournament. To the arena! What a pleasant surprise. King Jason, back again. I hear you have a new fighter under contract. An Ionian. I'm always in the market for exotic talent. Have you seen him? No. An amazing specimen. And what if he wins the tournament? My s- My- I think you want- Let's hope your deal with this Ionian is not- Otherwise- What? You know nothing of Mycenae, except how to kill those it holds most dear. Now I bid you good day. I'm signing up for the tournament. What? You can't be serious! The people of Mycenae would set the island on fire before they bow to you! Mark my name on your roster, Patroclus. We'll see how good this Dokkan really is. Fool! When you face him, you'll realize what a grave mistake you've made. So be it. But if it's a tournament you want, it's a tournament you'll get. Three rounds. To the winner goes the Fist of Ares. Three rounds? There's only two of us fighting. Then we'll start with two elimination rounds against my bestiary. You can't get past some mindless brutes, then you're not fit to face Dokkan. Now, if you'll excuse me. I've got a tournament to announce. <clears throat> in far off Saurian, in the depths of the steamy wild, live a band of murderous savages, fearsome and refined. 
A pagan throng of man-eaters who fight with cunning guile. Just ask the men who butcher or the women whom they defile. Citizens of Mycenae, I give to you King Jason's first test. I give to you Citizens, you'll not want to miss what's next. Jason, attend closely. Asclepius thinks Patroclus might resort to dirty tactics this next fight. You should speak with him, but perhaps I can help even the odds. Not long ago, Patroclus agreed to fund a number of my more experimental projects. This sword was an interesting byproduct of an attempt to create a new alloy using iron and coal. Byproduct? I take it your experiment didn't work. Didn't work? I hold a sword stronger and sharper than any the world has seen. And he says it didn't work. What can you tell me about the next round? Something's afoot. All I've heard is you'll face a single Minotaur. I know Patroclus's Wranglers have found a particularly nasty specimen. But I have to think there's more to it. I'd be ready for surprises, Jason. Let's go spring Patroclus's trap. Then I'll inform that snake we're ready to be. A 
Attention, citizens of Mycenae! The Tournament of Champions continues! Shall we up the stakes? Three fiends to shake the very foundations of this arena! Will this finally be enough to stop King Jason? It better be. Men and women of Mycenae, I give you the Minotaur! Easy, Jason, easy. Patroclus released a poison through the trap doors when the Minotaurs came out. Those brutes wouldn't feel it, but you certainly did. How you managed to keep fighting is beyond all comprehension. Thank you, Asclepius. If it wasn't for your aid, I wouldn't have made it this far. Jason, in all my years, I've been a neutral observer to the carnage that plays out here. If I've hoped for anything, it was for quick deaths and light wounds. I never thought I'd say this, but now I hope for your victory. Cheating bastard Patroclus. Thank the gods for Asclepius. We can't avoid a showdown any longer. Only Dokkan remains. This is it then. If the Black Tongues are going to make their move, it'll be during this match. Make for the Argo once it starts, Thanos. 
You should be able to slip away unnoticed. But you may need me here. The strike will come from the stands or from Dokkan himself. You can't help either way. If we're going to get you on the Argo without King Minos's man noticing, this is our chance. You're right. Very well. Are you ready then? Yes. Lycomedes must not fall. I'll let Patroclus know, and then I'll slip away. Be careful, Jason. And may the gods be with you. Attention, citizens of Mycenae! The final match of the Tournament of Champions is about to begin! And now, my friends, what more can I say? The words elude! A silver tongue does not suffice! No, one would need a tongue of the finest gold to do this moment justice. So I ask you! To look down upon these men who will fight before us! Jason, King of Yoltas! Dokkan, Champion of Ionia! Two Man against man! This land, do the people of Greece ignore the rules of battle? Get on, old king! Tell this rabble their pet must return to his cage! People do not serve he who holds the fist of Ares. He who holds the fist of Ares serves the people, and they have spoken! Achilles, fight! Then you will all die! Achilles, are you with me? Let's show this filthy island how champions truly fight. May Ares guide your hand, champion of my son. May Ares smile upon you, king of the For Hecate! 
Chase him. You forgive an old fool. Twice now I have wronged you without cause. You need the blood of Ares? I offer you every drop I have, my son. It appears Achilles wishes to go to sea. It's your lucky day, Jason. I've decided to join in your journey. Your spear would be welcome, Achilles. But do you know what we seek? The Golden Fleece. Glory enough to share, I think. If that's what you're after, you'll get your fill before we're through. I promise you that. I'll hold you to it. How many wenches do you have aboard? We've no wenches, Achilles. What? Duh. Then what about your wine? I trust your stores are ample? Welcome aboard, Achilles. Argonauts, to the ship. Jason, I want to talk to you. The Fist of Ares has been in my family since the chariot rider himself bestowed it to us. To think I almost gave it away as a tournament prize. What a fool I was. What I should have done was give it to you the moment you arrived on Mycenae. Better late than never. Achilles, your mace is the symbol of your rule. I didn't keep it before. Why would I... Because I'm asking you. That's why. As I said, it belongs in my family. Alcime is my only child. It would pass to her son, to your son. Keep it for him. And when he is of age, tell him how you won it in a tournament. The king, the arena fighter, and the smith. All three have joined his crew. Why do people flock to him and his fool's quest? Leave us! My dear, what are we going to do with your husband? Of course, I should have killed you when you were just a girl, running through the palace. You were always such a pretty girl. The dear old brother. Jason's father didn't trust me, sent me away. And Lycomedes had his armies looking in every bush in Greece for black tongues. No, the time wasn't right. But now, my dear, your husband is not going to find the fleece. But even if he does, there won't be an Alcime left to use it on. Yes! Damn you, Jason!